Assalamualaikum guys. Selamat petang, selamat berhujung minggu bersama dengan Isri Mukris dan Jami Hasan dalam borak Tesi Peng. Oh, hari tu hari yang baru 14 Ogos dan yes. uh, kita dah tengah bulan dah. Second week of August. I hope everyone is fine. Kita orang masih di rumah kekalkan SOP. Kami orang make dua Isri pun nah life pun masih bermas okey. Eh, nyalah di samping kita tu dalam pandemik diharapkan semuanya bertahan. Dia apa? Diharapkan. 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 <laughs> semuanya bertahan. <laughs> We will get to the end of the tunnel one day. Exactly. Alright. Okay uh, lah. Apa? Kau okay. Okay aku. Ah, uh, macam biasa 45 45 bulan, <laughs> 45 minit. Kami dah miakan dengan kita orang macam-macam benda nak dikongsikan hujung minggu tu. Current issues ada, what's viral ada. So, kita nak mulakan dengan current issues lah. Yes, current issue. Okay, kita dah ada macam-macam variant. Okay, well, kita nak kakak hal COVID dah itu. Jadi, kita ada variant uh, alpha, beta, gamma, apa lagi? Uh, delta aku dah sebut tak? Belum. Uh, delta, lam- now kita ada variant lambda. Ah, tu yes. yang paling latest lah lambda tu. Yes, paling latest ataupun varian lambda namanya lain is C37. Alhamdulillah, our state belum lagi merekodkan, our negeri belum lagi merekodkan any cases untuk varian lambda tu. Seperti yang uh, dipadah oleh our professor Dr. David Pereira iaitu pengarah Institut Kesihatan dan perubatan community ataupun Institute of Health and Community Medicine di Unimas. Okay? Jadi IHCM tu yang sebenarnya menjalinkan kerjasama dengan SDMC ataupun our Sarawak Disaster Management Committee dan yang apa dan yang pola is dan yang check variantnya sikit-sikit in case ada ada mutation yang berlaku in case ada new variant masuk dari luar jadi kerja dak tok banyak ya Zui. Hmm. Kerja dak tok banyak, kerja dak tok susah sebab so banyak beribu-ribu suap yang masuk banyak perlu check sikit-sikit. Oh. Uh, so lah. kita sik perlu berasa bimbang tetapi walaupun sik perlu berasa bimbang sebab kes lama dak tok belum masuk Sarawak Jangan lari lagi lah. Yes. Kedah ah. kes Delta lah. Kita pun saya expect Delta dari India originally boleh masuk yes. ke Malaysia. Ah. Nah. Saya ah, tahu so, sini, saya tahu ah. cemian yang datang. Mungkinnya mutated within the community di Malaysia, di Sarawak tu. Kita saya tahu. Jadi, ah, pokok pangkalnya is kita mesti kekalkan SOP. Okay? Two days ago pun kita dah merekodkan kes yang sangat banyak lah. Bagi aku sangat banyak lah. Untuk seribu. Eh, si, total. Untuk Sarawak oh, lah. Untuk Sarawak, seribu dua ratus. Marek, tujuh ratus. Okay, hmm. jadi untuk rekod, Lambda tu paling awal didokumenkan di negara Peru pada Disember 2020. Dan setakat tu Disember, kita ada tujuh bulan dah direkodkan sebanyak lebih tiga puluh buah negara di seluruh hmm. dunia. Ah, cepat si cepatnya mereka. Jadi, kekalkan SOP. We will win one day, okay? Hang in there. Alright. So, nama lain tak C37, no? C37, ya. Uh, yes. CJ7, bukan? Eh, bukan. You're cute, no? <laughs> Alright, next. Uh, what's viral? Okay. Ada sikit posting lah. Kami tangkap dekat Facebook. Mm-hmm. Pasal this one girl, I think. Yeah. Yang kongsikan sikit cerita lah. Macam ni, perception orang dengan rider-rider. Abang-abang rider, kakak-kakak rider kat luar nun. Yes. Jadi, uh, Esther Erin. Uh, Nya ada pola lah. Pasal... Appreciation post lah usually hmm. untuk bapak je pun yang ceritakan balik macam ni. Oh bapaknya yang bapaknya rider. Bapaknya as a rider macam ni tanggapan orang nak. Ha, tu ada BT set dah. Set okay dia. ceritanya macam tu lah. Uh, true story dia kisah bapaknya. Uh, bapaknya as rider tak paling teruk lah bapaknya pernah kena simbah pakai air sup yang diorder orang. Ah, ya pun sebab order bapa etik lambat sampai ke rumah orang ya. Ah, tapi sebab orang ya pun order dari restoran yang yang dari tahu lambat, yeah, lambat yang dari tahu lambat nah. sebab banyak order order lain. And then now kan kita uh, mungkin di sebelah uh, semenanjung Malaysia adanya tutup pukul 8 And kita perlu memahami juga lah rider sih salah pun. Adanya perlu juga nunggu. Yes. Kitchen, kitchen pun kita sih tahu banyak kasih order adanya. So adanya perlu bola sih sih jadi. Bila kita order, kita perlu rasa bertimbang rasa lah. Hmm. Ha, Raya siapa pula? Apa yang just tunggu je? Siapa pula? Apa pun dia lah. Hantar ha. makanan. Kedai cepat-cepat lah makanan, cepat lah makanan sampai. Ha. Tahu, tahu lah. Jangan. Eh, eh, eh. Okay, okay. Sip. <laughs> Alright, that's it. Ah, yeah. so apa-apa pun thank you lah rider rider yang pernah hantar makanan dengan kami dan uh, semoga tahun ini murahkan rezeki lah, okay? Yes. Lepas tu bedok miaga kembali lagi. Bora. Tesi pek. Ezri Bu 
Chris dalam borak Tessy Peng. Peng. Okey, seperti biasa aku nak mula announcement. Okey, ha, boleh. Kejap aja. Okey, jadi mungkin kita on terlepas any of our show. Jangan risau, jangan bimbang. Buka YouTube, search TVS TV MY. Lepas saya terpampang lah semua episod terbitan dan rancangan terbitan TVS. And please do follow our Instagram and our Facebook account. Sama juga TVS TV MY. Pasal kita orang akan nangga kami orang pun news update. And then paling important pun kita orang ada idea-idea ataupun feedback ataupun soalan yang mau diutarakan kepada tim Borak Tesi Peng. Please send us an email. Hantarkan email kepada kami orang di tim Borak Tesi Peng. Borak at tvstv.my. Okay? Borak at tvstv.my. Jangan lupa kami orang pun live di Facebook now. So like, comment and share. Yes, Facebook ni. Padahal ah, Facebook ni oh, Facebook. Facebook TV STV. Ah, TV TV. Tak aku dah pergi Facebook miasan. <laughs> aku tak bingung kursi aku punya tang gugur. Okey. <laughs> Okeylah. Di Chino. Di ah, Chino. Kita okay. ada banyak benda nak kongsi kat pasal di Chino itu dan first kita nak kongsi ke pasal Fakira Khairuddin. Yes, Fakira Khairuddin tu. Nya adalah salah seorang graduate daripada Maktab Rendah Sains Mara. MRSM. MRSM, yes, MRSM and now yang dah bekerja di one of the biggest uh, company in the world lah, Tesla. Siapa sih tau Tesla? Yes. Tahu Tesla sih? Yang boleh apa? Apa pola, pola pergerak kereta? Tahu aku? Pola <laughs> <laughs> kereta, SpaceX, pola hmm. okay. Jadi tu adalah one of the anak Malaysia yang dapat kerja di one of these biggest company, biggest company in the world. And now nya menetap di Fremont, California. Working as technical training robotics engineering instructor. Ah, Ui, panjang shock, positionnya oh. di Tesla ya. Work, uh, technical training robotics engineering instructor. Senang instructor cita, lah. Engineer lah. Engineer lah, engineer. Engineer ah, instructor. Engineer instructor. Ah, okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Jadi, uh, one of the tech enthusiasts ataupun nama besar dalam bidang teknologi itu namanya Richard Kerr. Jadi, Richard Kerr itu lah yang share hal fakirah itu bekerja di Tesla. And then Richard Kato is also vice president di Aerodyne Group in Malaysia. And sebab Fakirah tu dapat kerja di Tesla is because nya banyak training, nya banyak masuk competition, technical competition, robotic competition. So ya yeah, mungkin yang kata dalam resume nya ditangga oleh si uh, Tesla and Tesla sangat sangat menghargai dan they think this Fakira girl is an asset to them. Ya, yeah, itu bukan kabel lah bukan. Oh bukan, this cable free. Okey, tok nang pure uh, pure skill. Rezeki lah kata yeah, orang nak. Macam aku jua. pun dari kos yang lain kerja pun lain Kau macam apa? Aku kos adalah. Kos tahu. apa aja apalah. Aku CS CS. Ah uh, quality survey. Kayak kerja dalam bidang entertainment <laughs> macam Mia dari kau kau belajar ke? Belajar. <laughs> Psikologi graduate of ah. Please lah. Ah, Okey. Kau kerja dalam TV nak. Ah. Kau ada kerja lain tak dah? Ada. ada. Okay. Kerja kira ubat. Alright. Kira ubat. Okey next. Ah, Tok pasal optical Aduh. illusion. Okey yes. pasal sekolah lu kita pernah belajar optical illusion tu. Anlip pun kau ada belajar lah. Okey. Dekat Jepun ada this one guy. Uh, bukan jabatan. Mm-hmm. Okey sebuah satu jabatan tu. Eshima Ohashi namanya. Apa? Eshima Ohashi. Nama jabatannya. Okay. Uh, yang merupakan jabatan angkat. You know? Bila ha? ada kapal lalu nak... Oh, dia ada buka. Mungkin ah. okay, terangkan dia jawab tu buka. Angkat. Kau angkat. Okay, okay, and then. Hanya uh, dikatakan... Hanya uh, nampak curam. Macam pergi ke, ke langit. Macam ni lah explanation oh. tu. Aku setelah faham mula-mula tu. Macam okay. si ada betul. VT, ada VT. Kan? Kita tangkap VT. Ya? bridge in Japan is not what you think it is. When viewed from far away, it looks impossibly steep, almost like it's a giant cliff, and there's no way cars could really be driving across it. Once it's viewed up close, you'll see that although it's steep, it's not some giant cliff. Send this to a friend to freak him out. Oh. It's optical illusion. Yeah. Nyamun dari jauh. Nyamun macam sedap penyambung lah. Kayak macam ni lah. Nyamun kedak roller coaster hmm. naik atas. Nyamun menjunam debah. Tapi mungkin kita orang nangka. Ah! Ah, tu di tepi ya, is minta orang nangga dia jauh. Hanya ah, tinggi aja sebenarnya. Ah, optical illusion lah kata the, the angle lah. Okay, the ah, angle, angle yang lah leads to then... how you see the things. Ah, okay, macam ni lah. Ah? English ku kacak lah. From the angle, lain-lain angle, lain-lain lah cara pandangan ku. Ah. Kau siapa English? <laughs> <laughs> Aku tak tahu lagi. Okeylah. Alright. <laughs> Ada one comment saya tahu kita orang pergi dah siap jambatan apa? Eshima. Eshima Ohashi. Ohashi. Ha, Nangga cemne illusionnya. Okey. Hmm. So next one. Okey. Olimpik dah habis. Paralimpik belum? 
Ah, ba- Paralimpik belum. Olimpik dah settle. Next is Paralimpik. Tapi kita orang tahu sih sebenarnya Sabah, negeri di Malaysia, Sabah nya pernah mewakili S mewakili negeri dan campur S sebuah negara ke Olimpik 1956. 56. 56. Oh, oh, my dad was born on 1956. Sabah. Sabah. Sabah masa saya adanya di gelar North Borneo. Nya nya belum dalam Malaysia lah, kira macam nyalah. Belum belum sambung dengan Malaysia, gitu belum belum together dengan Malaysia. Oh. So time nya nya di gelar North Borneo, and nya menghantar dua orang atlet. Oh, pergi doa. yes, pergi Olimpik di di Athens, oh di Melbourne Australia. Ah, sampai kita tengok lah, datnya ada nama negara Sabah. Di, oh. di list of Olympic Olympic pun country tapi kita ada Vicky jumpa tarangka Korang tahu tak Sabah pernah masuk Olympic mesti ada yang nak cakap alah atlet Selangor pun masuk Olympic wakil Malaysia tak bukan yang tu awak tengok ni Olympic North Borneo ha So, waktu tahun 1956, Sabah yang lebih dikenali sebagai North Borneo menyertai sukan Olimpik di Melbourne, Australia. Masa tu Sabah menghantar dua orang wakil yang layak untuk bertanding di sukan Olimpik dan salah satu atletnya yang dikenali sebagai Datuk Siung Ben Diao. Walaupun dua atlet tersebut tidak memenangi pingat, Sabah tetap terpahat namanya pada sejarah Olimpik. Dan Olimpik tahun 1956 itulah buat kali pertama dan kali terakhir North Borneo menyertai sukan Olimpik Kemah Bo. Ah, oh, North TikTok, Borneo. Dari TikTok kau kah? Banyak trivia kau, benda di follow kau. Ah, bagus. Aku <laughs> nang berilmu je TikTok aku. <laughs> okay. ah, jadi yang mewakili negara North Borneo, now negeri Sabah, Time ini adalah Datuk Gaboh Piging dan Datuk Sium Diao. Kedua-duanya mewakili negara Sabah dalam acara Lompat Kijang. And then, uh, Gaboh time ini umur 24 tahun. Kedudukan 24, nya pun, uh, pun jarak is 14.55. Jauh apa? Bukan jarak lompat, lompat tadi. Oh, lompat, uh, yalah jauh lah, 14 meter. Nah, jauh lah. Kau pasti, kau tinggi apa? Kau nganjo apa? Hmm. Tadi tadi kau nanya apa lompat kijang nak? <laughs> beza kalau lompat kijang dengan lompat jauh. Kau pada beza. Kau perlu Google benda kau perlu dengan YouTube lah. Apa beza itu ya? Lompat kijang. Lompat... Kau, kau 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 explain dengan si Caya. So, dia perlu Google impun lah, okay? Okay, kita sama-sama Google lah lompat. Mereka be- aku fikir lompat jauh is lompat kijang. No, no, no. Eh, no menurut different. kata Elvis eh, lompat kijang tiga kali lompat. Lompat jauh sekali lompat. Bagus kita orang Google sama-sama. Padahal kami orang di tim Tessy Peng. Okay, okay alright. Uh, next is what's on Twitter. Ah, kau seorang ni stop next. <laughs> alright, uh, ada this one event. Yeah. Satu event okay. kereta tu dekat UK lah. Mm-hmm. Nama event tu adalah Hagati Festival of the Unexpectional. Eh. Ah, nya macam uh, event mengumpulkan kereta-kereta klasik lah. Tahun 1960-an, okay. tahun 70-an, 80-an, mm-hmm. 90-an lah. Okay. And then, uh, pendek cerita lah, winner untuk event tu adalah sebuah kereta keluaran Malaysia. Oh, wow! Ha, kita tanggal kereta apa? Jom, tanggal gambar tu. Gambar? Ha. Oh, Proton Saga! So, the, the first, first edition Saga. lah. Oh, tapi tu the limited edition one. Yes. Black Knight namanya. Ah, Black Knight, yes. Ah, kita tu lah. Sampai UK ah, oh, motor tu. Eh, sampai. Ah, mun 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 kau ada tanggal lah sige episode of Mr Bean masanya main golf. Ayakah? Ada ada sige scene ya. Uh-huh. Bola golf lekat dalam exhaust. It's a potent saga. Oh. Ah. So, bila kau nak movie, kau tanggal segala benda. Kau. <laughs> so, apa pun, yalah. Proud Malaysia lah nak yes. sebab kereta kita dah sampai ke UK menang event Dia event dapat ngalah the big, big names also like Peugeot, yes. Kia, yes. Fiat, yes. Volkswagen, yes. Yes. Nissan, Volvo, Proton Macam gini ha Yes, Proton ini. Black Knight tu kira limited lah Limited edition ha. So that's it Untuk kita pun watch on Twitter hari tu Dan lepas tu kami ada Mia akan kembali lagi uh, Kita ada guest of the show kita hari tu Seorang wanita Aku suka. <laughs> apa mulanya? Apa kerjanya lepas tu? Jangan ke mana-mana. Borak Tessie. Bang!
Alright guys, we are back dalam Borak Tessy Peng. Untuk kita dah masuk ke segmen ketiga, kita ada guest of the show. Kita hari tu macam biasa. And then for hari tu, agak special lah. Uh, sebab kita ada seorang wanita. And then yang pun bakat is melukis mural. Uh, kebanyakan mu- muralnya ada di sekitar kucing tu lah. Okay? Jadi di sebelah kami tu, kita ada... Uh, Miss Daphne, hi, how hi, are you? Hi, good, thank you. Uh, so, panggil Miss Daphne, is it? Yep. Sis lah, Sis Daphne, okay? Sis, yeah, sure, okay. bro. <laughs> Alright, first of all, you introduce yourself, me, uh, okay. Daphne. Alright, hi, um, so I'm Daphne Siang. Um, more known as Artsy Daffy. What we do is, we are known for painting murals and portraits, and canvases, traditional art, as well as commissioned digital artwork. Oh, yeah. so anything berkaitan dengan art semua you buat? You buat in a group or...? Individu. Um, mostly individual, but I now I have assistants and people I'm training to ah, do more okay. art. Okay, yeah. so bila you start with all these things? Okay, um, our first mural was 2012, but I uh, we've I've went full time into Artsy Daffy in 2015. So that's about six to seven years, six to seven years now. Oh, yeah. okay. So you started as a mural first, ah, mural drawer lah, a draw, draw, drawing drawer, <laughs> drawer lah. Well, uh, I am educated in marketing, so I actually did office work. But um, slowly through more and more demand for artwork, then oh, slowly I went into okay, art. Okay, okay. So, <laughs> yeah. once you get the demand for your artworks, macam mana orang tahu you have the talent to draw? Um, internet. <laughs> so, oh, yeah. Instagram, Facebook, blog, um, that's where people see that uh, we can draw things. Uh, yeah. Okay, pasal mural lah. Okay, usually kita tengok mural kan lukis besar-besar dekat, dekat dinding lah bangunan, right? Yeah. So, how did you compensate from drawing dekat kertas ke kecil? Uh, how you try draw dekat something bigger? Uh, macam, do you have any sketch first ke? Macam ni ke? Yeah, definitely. So, we sketch first and then we Photoshop on the wall that we want to uh, draw. So, people know how it would look like on the wall. Uh, then after that, we use Mathematics, like we use scale, grid, and all that. Oh, then that's okay. how we make it very big. Ah, so yeah. these are one of your drawings, lah, right? Oh uh, yeah, yeah. That's dekat, in KL. Dekat, dekat KL. KL, yeah. Oh, dekat KL pun you ada buat. Yes. Ada yeah. peninggalan lah kata orang. Yeah, yeah. Uh, for in 2018-19, we're in KL almost every other month, lah. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> wow. So your first building that you draw, you you Lucas? Huh, first building, ah, uh, outside or inside? <laughs> inside, inside Sarawak, inside. Ada, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah, my friend's room actually. Oh, yeah. okay, your friend's room. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, how how's your kawan punya review pasal itu? Mesti <laughs> macam cantik and everything, right? Must be okay lah. That's why you can introduce more, right? <laughs> <laughs> I think. <laughs> so you started in KL lah first, is it? Oh no no no, in Kuching. Oh, you started in Kuching. Yeah, we started and in Kuching. Then you pergi KL. Yeah. Uh, KL is uh, when people start to know about RC Defimo, then um, oh. inquiries start to come in from KL okay, as well. Okay, 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 uh. faham. So, what is your your drawing types? Macam mm. as a mural kan banyak ada macam geometric, floral. Mm. So, your your mm. type? Uh, I think we have many kind of styles. Uh, we are not specifically one style. Oh, okay. So, whatever the client or the business need, then we try to design and paint whatever they need. Oh, yeah, okay. so it can be anything. <laughs> so, what are the struggles you okay. buat during this mural thing lah? Mm. What are the struggles? Huh? Weather, uh, is it? <laughs> weather, uh, ex- uh, exterior, yes, it can be weather. But most of the struggle actually come from when we are trying new material. Like uh, uh, maybe okay. the first time we paint wood, metal, plastic. Uh, that's this type of problems we face lah. Um, yeah, most of the things come from new things. Mm, okay, mm. so other than drawing murals, what up are you? Are you what? I mean, do you have any other jobs instead of uh, what mural? Uh, uh, for a few years, I just did mural, but uh, for the past few years, we also started uh, digital marketing. Oh, <laughs> so, digital marketing. Yes, that would be another okay, company. Okay. Yeah. So basically, you draw in indoor indoor type lah. I mean, indoor in, outdoor is it? Indoor outdoor both. Yeah, oh, both indoor okay. outdoor, residential, commercial, or oh got. So susah kah lukis mural yang besar-besar kan? Uh, susah on your body lah. <laughs> Quite tiring you do this for 12, 8 to 12 hours. Oh. Your, your neck, your back all will be very painful. So is there any time period that your client demand kah? Uh, thank goodness no lah. Uh, the Malaysians It, are very nice. Uh, <laughs> so it depends on your, your timing ni pun lah. Yeah, they depend oh, on our timing. Okay, okay. And they also can tell it's very physically taxing. So now we arrange how many hours we can do it for. Uh, oh, clients okay. are mostly okay. Right. Faham. So your your recent recent job is recent draw, ada Recent is an office 
yes, a very big wall, paddy field. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. That's okay. just last week. We just finished it. <laughs> you just finished, ah? Huh? Yeah, just finished. Oh, okay, Dasha. So upcoming, upcoming drawing. Upcoming. Uh, we are finishing a New New York City mural right now, and then a few more, but. Hmm. Wait till confirm then we ah, okay. can see on social media. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Alright, so do you have uh, any drawings the car? What do you call it? Thing? Dalam frame. I mean, as a interior design for kerja for decoration lah kata oh. orang lain. The frame drawings ada ke? Oh yeah yeah yeah. We draw on paper, frame it up. We draw on canvas. Oh. They can be gifts. They can be put in. So offices. you guys draw it? Um, personal artwork to draw, not yet lah. Oh. Uh, maybe in the future. But now we all do commission work. Uh, where people ask for a job, then we do for them. Oh, right, right. Faham. Okay, so what are, as a mural, Kang Lukis mural lah, what are the first things you need to to do before you start drawing? Instead of sketching? Oh. Mm. Other, other than sketch lah? Definitely, we have to go to the site, talk to the client, see what they want, see what suit their space, their wall. Uh, many things lah. So we take photo, a lot of photo of the site, measure everything. Oh. Okay, okay. So, yeah. contoh lah building besar besar, right? Yeah. So you 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 guys have to, need to have another extra what do you call it thing transportation lah, macam oh. all the benda yang tinggi tinggi, all the cranes and everything. Yeah, we always rent a sky lift, scissor oh. lift, so we have to drive it. <laughs> you you guys drive yeah. sendiri, is it? Uh, sky lift no, but scissor lift we the small one we can drive ourselves lah. Oh, yeah. okay. <laughs> Quite fun lah. <laughs> Best lah, kerja, kerja lukis lukis, drawing drawing. Interesting, team. cause every day is a different job, you know. Every oh. every project is different, so it's always fresh and exciting. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. okay, faham. So, munda fande lukis mural dekat building sebab sana. Kalau compare dekat kertas, easier lah for you. What what are the your weakness bila melukis lah? Mm. I mean, for me myself, my arts memang low lah. <laughs> Even lukis orang biasa pun tidak pandai. So for you, what what are your weaknesses hmm. in your drawing skills? Ah, what are the one that you macam mau elak? Kalau kita, it susah mau buat, susah mau lukis. Huh. Kau you can settle everything. Uh, we try to settle everything. Um, I think I think why we can do what we do is because we just want to Satisfied. accept all the challenges. Uh, you know. All the so if I mean we are we are paid to do it, then we're like. Yeah, we can solve this. No problem. Very hard also. We find a way to ah, do it. Okay, okay. As long as you're willing to do lah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's ah, why it's our okay. job. <laughs> so, do you draw the jackets, pakaian? Uh, because I have yet. I have this one jacket. It's uh -huh. a plain jacket. Uh -huh. I, I plan more. I have something lah. Only some drawings or anything style. Okay, so can you guys do that? Possible, possible. Oh, yeah. okay. We just need to find the right material for the right surface. Ah, so, uh, so okay. wall so, pen cannot pen on the jacket. Oh, uh, so it's different. So we work. So you, you wall pen the cut wall paper the cut paper punya pen tidak sama kah? Tidak sama. Semua pen tak sama. Watercolor color the cut kedai stationery tidak sama kah? Tidak sama. <laughs> tidak dapat lukis dinding bangunan. Tidak dapat. Nanti the rain come and gone away. Oh. <laughs> Water color definitely. Okay lah, tok lah. Baru cikgu seni ikut sekolah dulu, patut tapi nyatok lah. <laughs> okay lah. Ah, uh, thank you for your info and everything. Lepas tu, uh, Mia Hasan will uh, take over. Cool. Dan kita akan kembali lagi lepas tu. Borak tensi, bang. And we are back with me, Mia Hassan, taking over from Esri Mukris dalam Borat Tesi Pen. We have Daphne Xiao in the house, our mural. Do you call it mural drawer or <laughs> is it like, is it mural drawer? You can call it that. Ah, mural, mural drawer. Okay, okay. So the first time that I saw you, it was at a vet. Oh, I noticed okay. you at the vet. Okay, she was right. spectacular. She she <laughs> she just have this reference on your tab, mm. and then straight away transfer it to 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 the wall. And I was like, wow, she's very something. You know, I cannot do that. I'm not an artsy person, not to be to be honest. I'm not that artsy. But for you yourself, do you think it's? Don't you feel like? Don't you ever feel like it's a bit confusing though? Because the one thing is that it's it's. The dynamic is different. Mm. The size is mm. different. For you, how do you adapt? You know, from a lukisan itself, from a drawing mm. inside mm. a uh, 
have mm. and then you have to realize it on the wall mm. um, I think it, it's quite similar after after you've done a lot mm -hmm. so you kind of know especially if you draw the small piece yourself first yeah. then when you go on the wall you're kind of quite familiar already uh -huh. so it's not that big of a difference okay. um, as long as we trust the scale on the wall then yeah it, after some experience you get used to it and oh. not that crazy complicated after a while okay i have a question <laughs> have yeah. you ever did something for example you did a whatever whatever drawing that is lah, but then there's a slight or probably a major mistake that oh. you did in the drawing how do you counter that though <laughs> happens all the time yeah so the okay. thing about art is if you don't give up it's not done yet <laughs> so okay. if it's bad and you don't give up you can oh. just say i'm not done yet then you just keep repairing it until it's okay <laughs> oh so, okay yeah, definitely but mistakes i happen. know something uh, i've watched a few videos okay you uh -huh. cannot do the dark colors first oh. or it mm. really depends though mm. it depends on the material you use so oh. some material is more opaque they can cover light color can cover dark color so it's okay oh. so maybe watercolor is harder to to um, fix that color, uh -huh. but when it comes to wall paint, acrylic paint, you can paint over, so it's not that bad. I see. <laughs> so it depends on material. Oh, it depends on the material, not really the color lah. Not really the color. Oh, uh. because I'm always scared. Okay, for example, if I wanted to uh, draw with my 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 daughter, uh -huh. I always say that don't pick the black color first. I tell you, do not uh. do the black color first, or else it cannot reverse. Cause it's crayon, right? Uh, the the normal watercolor be oh yeah yeah yeah, yeah. crayon and watercolor but yeah. if it's crayon is it different have you ever do murals with crayons okay. <laughs> cannot 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 <laughs> it will not tahan <laughs> oh, it will not tahan yeah. but yes we did crayon on paper long time ago when we were children oh, I see okay <laughs> when did you discover that you are a an artsy daffy daffy ah, ah. I think um my whole life I've been drawing um ah. only. The name Artsy Daffy came up because I had a blog and I don't know what to call it and that I sounded see. catchy. Oh. <laughs> so that became my blog name and then my business name. I see. <laughs> yeah, but... Okay, so it runs in the blood. Does your parents or your other siblings draw as well? Are they oh. very artsy? My, my siblings love to draw but I their see. style is very anime. <laughs> my, ah. fa my father is a quite a good um, artist himself but he is did not develop it because last time art is not a thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. People don't really know the murals and stuff. Mm, yeah. yeah, nobody pay for art last time. Now they do. Yeah, a bit different. With the social media and all, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. what is your biggest achievement so far in doing, uh, in doing all these murals, you know, mm. drawings? Mm. Um, achievement, like, I, I don't think we tried for any awards yet, <laughs> but okay. I think Every every big... your personal best lah. Oh, personal best. I think yeah. most. I think the big scale ones are quite an achievement. Um, because we never knew that the small little people can paint on big buildings. Understand. But I think generally, almost every, every being able to do this for a living is an achievement in itself oh, to me. Wow. <laughs> so you do this. Uh, I mean, like you do this hundred percent focus or? Yes. Uh, for for the past four five years, it was. 100% on Artsy Daffy itself. Ah. Only recently we started to expand digitally. Ah, yeah. oh, you do digital as well. <laughs> marketing, yes. Oh, marketing. Yeah. Yeah. I see. Okay. Uh, you know, you said that you started around five years ago? Six, seven years uh, ago. Six, seven yeah. years ago. Okay. Now that we have COVID, right? Mm. Now it's the pandemic. I understand that it's, yeah, it's, it's hard for each and every one of us, mm. especially people who are based on something for a living. For you yourself, Mm. Are you affected? Uh, definitely affected. Um, so in 2019, we were, we were traveling almost every month for yeah. our artwork. Uh -huh. That year, I think we clocked 30 over murals in one year. Oh, but wow. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but then 2020 happened. Yeah, 2020 we did happened. Five. <laughs> really? Five. Yeah, From so, 30 in a year to 5? Correct. Because we cannot travel, cannot exactly. go out. Half, pretty much half the year we're not working. <laughs> so oh. yes, the pandemic definitely affected the mural side of things. Mm. Mm. But how do you resort it though? Besides doing digital, how do you resort? Have you like, you know, gone to the social media just to promote stuff and probably mm. you can secure or land some jobs after when this whole COVID ends mm. or how? Definitely did. Uh, so during the pandemic, we did a lot of SEO, Google and <laughs> a lot of 
ads, yeah, a lot of yeah. online ads. Yeah, yeah. So we did manage to get still continuously get inquiries. It's just that we can't can't do it at that time. Yeah, we, probably you can't do as much as it was pre-COVID, right? Definitely, definitely yeah, affected. Yeah, I understand. Mm. Okay, you have been doing this for almost 10 years. Mm. What do you wish to do? You know, like, mm. give it a time span of, say, another five years mm. forward. How mm. do you see yourself as a mural drawer? Mm. Um, a few things I think definitely we want to continue being able to help people express themselves um, through art yeah um, I also hope that we can develop a few more artists under us and then um, you know get them to do what we do and yeah. let people know that be- doing art is possible yes. for a living yes 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 yeah. definitely but to pers- have young padawans under you lah we, we ha- yeah we have one or two new artists so I'm just bringing them to start and see whether they like this as a job or not in the future <laughs> so see. that's quite interesting yeah for me I, I really don't know how to draw I don't even know how to draw I don't even know how to colour properly <laughs> your thing is speaking man. different oh, <laughs> yeah I can't speak. different people have different skills probably my, my, my skill is talking yeah exactly <laughs> Exactly. I can't talk like you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, so I, I see. I wanted to ask you something already. I forgot. Oh, okay. Uh, do you do murals like outside of Kuching? Mm. Uh, probably. Is there anything other than, uh, you know, you probably you'd go to Kuala Lumpur or mm. you have projects? You know? uh, yeah, we have all over Malaysia, so mm-hmm. we did. Oh wow! Ke- yeah, yeah, yeah. KK, most of, a lot of Sarawak, mm-hmm. KL. Uh, we also did Singapore a oh, few times. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's quite cool. What did you do in Singapore? Uh, we did a, an office of quite a influencer, and then a few residential projects. I yeah, see. yeah. Quite interesting. So that one you go with the team, <laughs> lah. Uh, I went myself, and I brought an assistant. Ah, <laughs> yeah. I see. Okay, I have one question. I remember now. Yeah. Uh, because I do have a friend who also doing all this mural and stuff. Right. Yeah, but d- they're using sprays. Oh, crazy. Yeah, is it different? I mean, of course, like, the material is different, you know, sprays and color, mm. mural colors, right? But the technique though, is it different? Because if mural, you have to, you just, I, I mean, if you're using watercolors, right? Yeah. Mural colors, painting, you mm. have to use your fingers. Mm. But if it's spray, I don't know how you control it mm. using your whole hand. Mm. So is it the technique is different? Are you familiar with it? Yeah, I think it's quite different. We did spray a little bit at one point, but my finger always get uh, numb <laughs> from pressing oh, really? the cap for too long. Oh yeah. yeah, it's always like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Always pressing. But lately we did use a machine to spray, which is we just do this. Oh, like a gun. Sh- like a gun. Uh, yeah. That one's easy. But the spray pen that they use is quite different. I think that it will be oil based. So oh. it's it's different material and it's not what we use normally lah. Oh. So I quite admire them and I very I really like wow graffiti artists is like wow. Yeah, graffiti the, artists. The things but, they do is different Oh, uh, yeah, so probably nice. you are more to the painting. water. Yeah, the painting yeah. side. Okay. Hand hand with brush. <laughs> ah, paint with brush. I think it's for me. I think it's probably easier to 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 control, right? Different kind of control. Ah, the, different uh, yeah, kind yeah, of yeah. control. Yeah. Okay. So Daphne, as a mural artist, mm-hmm. how what would you like to say, you know, to the kids out there, mm. to the teenagers out there, to the people out there who wanted to, you know, express themselves through mm. arts but they are scared of, mm. you know, they're scared, oh I cannot do this as a living. What uh, can you say to the people out there? I can say, um, keep doing what you like, you and try try everything. Lah. You might even though you like like art, you might not want to do it. Yeah. So try that. And then try working, and then try doing one as a hobby, one as a full time. I mean, uh, especially young people, they have a lot of time to do. So, yeah, just do what you like, and then share it online as much as you can. And then, yeah, you find your way. I think that. Yeah, you find your way. Yeah. Just keep on trying. But do you have any social media accounts that you wanted to share with people out there? Can uh, you can follow Artsy Daffy, A R T S Y D A P H Y. Yeah, Artsy Daffy, I followed you already. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you thank okay, you. so thank you so much, Daphne. Yeah, we you. wish you all the best. You know, it's COVID. I understand it's difficult for each and every one of us, but trust me, hopefully everything is going to part to be fine one day. Okay, yes. so kita orang di rumah ya. Terima kasih kerana sudi get bersama dengan kami dua Ezri sampai ke penghujung rancangan. Jangan lupa Sarawak United versus Perak FC malam tu pukul sembilan malam uh, live di. Facebook dan juga YouTube TVS. Okay, so United versus Perak FC. Jangan lupa kita orang support orang kita. Okay, so 
Thank you so much. Be kind to one another. Borak Tesi Peng signing out. See you tomorrow. Bye. Thank you.